Hey everyone, this is your girl, USF Chick 85, with another Dollar Tree haul. It's just something very small, not a lot of stuff, but I decided to share with you guys, anyways. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this okay, haul. So, my boyfriend's in the living room being very loud on his PlayStation. So, I decided to come into my room to do um, a really quick Dollar Tree haul. So, when I first walked through the door, I came across some Halloween goodies. You guys know it's this time, it's the time of year for fall and Halloween items. I actually started seeing them put out their fall decorations um, back in July and August. So I have a couple of pictures that I will share with you guys. I was gonna put on Instagram, but I didn't get I didn't get a chance yet. So I'll make sure I include those pictures at the end of the video just to show you. It's pretty much the same stuff that they had last year. I think they have a few extra items that may be slightly different. But also these are um, napkins from Halloween of last year. As you can see, they have the 50 cent um, ticket on them. So when I went to the register, I was surprised because the lady said they had so many of them. The lady said that she was going to mark them down even more. So um, she marked them down to 25 cent each. So I purchased this purple napkin set with the spider web, the bat, the cat, the the cat sitting on a tombstone, and a pumpkin. Three of those ended up being 25 cent each. Got these. These are pretty much just like the small ones. I got four packs of the small ones, and it looks like it's just this, um, a fence in front of like a haunted house or a cemetery with the jack-o'-lantern, the trees, a crow, and a, um, a rat. Four packs of those. Those are also a quarter. Even though they say 50 cent, like I said, at the register, the lady marked them down even more for me. And then I got these. These are the only designs, the same size, just a little bit larger. So in case I end up having a Halloween party this year, normally I am... Normally I do have them, but I haven't had one in so long. It's been about two or three years. So it just depends on how I feel this year if I have something. Um, if not, then I'll always keep them for when I move into my house. Remember I told you guys that I am in the process of trying to um, purchase a, my first home. So I'll just keep these in a storage bin until I move into my new home and have my annual Halloween parties again. Also... Um, I picked up some cards. You guys know how we love Dollar Tree's cards. They're two for a dollar, so that's always good. If you get the, um, Tender Thoughts, they're two for a dollar. If you get the other kind, I can't think of what it's called, um, those are a dollar each. But my ex-boyfriend called me, and I actually have him on block, but I ended up getting his voice message and he told me that his aunt passed away which i was with him on and off for 10 years so i know the family pretty well so i'm gonna send him a card and some flowers um this weekend for the funeral but i grabbed a sympathy card this is a very nice card it says there are times along life's journey that can test the spirit deeply Though this is certainly one of those times, may you never stop believing that your faith, your inner strength, and the power of God's love will carry you through in deepest sympathy. So I got that for him and his family. And then also I'm over the birthday and anniversary committee at my job. So I grabbed a couple birthday cards. We actually have two birthdays and an anniversary within the next two to three weeks. So this is a birthday card for someone very special. It says, here's wishing you a birthday filled with happy things to do. A birthday that turns out to be as wonderful as you. And that's when all of my co-workers will sign it. It's a small office. It's about 12 of us. So it's big enough for everybody to sign. This one just says, happy birthday. And it says, may the joy in your day match the warmth of your ways to make it your best birthday ever. And then as far as the anniversaries it says congratulations um it's wonderful to see how successful you've been so that's for that's one anniversary and it says another one that says show off 
I think it's really cute because it has a seal with the ball on his nose and the fish. Very cute. I like it. And it says, you get more amazing every year. You know, something simple. 50 cent each. Everyone gets to sign it. The person feels love for their birthday or their anniversary. And I thought this one was so cute because I love puppies. Especially little puppies like that. Yeah, he's so cute. So, it says, congratulations. You put the best paw forward. Aw, I thought that was cute. So... I grabbed those cards. And that's one bag. And I don't know if I did this before, if I did a haul video last year. When I was working at, um, I worked for the same company, but I was just working at the corporate office before. So I used to decorate my section for my team. So now since I'm at a, a office um, that's closer to home, and like I said, it's just about 12 I think it's 12 of us, including myself there. So I decorate the front desk. And I got the um, fall leaf. They had that in orange. And they also had it in it's very pretty red. Now, I could have sworn last year when I bought these, they had it in green or yellow or something like that. But I'm pretty sure they'll have more selections coming out I got an owl and then also got a pumpkin so that's just something to get the decoration started for fall and y'all have to excuse me I hate like having all this paper or these bags rattling but I literally just came home from Dollar Tree and decided to do this um, haul video really quick. I've been trying to, you know, get back on track with doing videos. So, all right, so that's it for the little fun items. So, next is, sorry, I had to make sure there's nothing else in there. Um, I'm sure a lot of girls have been hauling these headbands. I love them. I was so excited that my Dollar Tree up the street from my house finally got these. So in my previous video, you guys saw some of the um, headbands that I purchased. Well, I just saw this one today. And it's pink with the um, dark brown and light brown. On a dark brown, and that's like a army green. Um, like a little cheetah print headband. And if you haven't noticed, I cut my hair. Um, I've been natural since 2006, but I've always been, I've always had very long hair. So I decided to do something different since I turned 30. I had never cut my hair before. So I actually cut it very, very short and I'm actually liking it. It's, it's pretty good. It's easy breezy, but I will say <laughs> this is my first and my last time cutting my hair. I miss having my long hair. So... I'm gonna try to enjoy as much as possible with the short hair before it starts growing in. But yeah, I, I cut it um, actually on August 15th, the day of my best friend's wedding. So they were shocked when I showed up ready to get my makeup and put on my dress and stuff for them to see my, my hair was short. So yeah, I got these little headbands, hopefully something that'll look really cute, um, even with the short hair. So I got that one. And I thought this was really cute too. I could wear this with like a solid color um, brown dress or tan dress, dress it up with some brown accessories. However, you know, it's very simple and I could just dress this up. So, and you can see it has the elastic back. So that's always good. And even though it looks, you know, pretty wide in the front, you can scrunch it up and make it, you know, bunch up like that in the front so I grabbed that as you guys know I do make diaper cakes I've mentioned it a million and one times so I've noticed that they had these and they also had the brand Munchkin which is the name brand um, headbands for little girls and they make barrettes and a whole bunch of other accessories so I grabbed a whole bunch of those on my last few hauls I don't know if I included that in my video or not but um I saw these and thought they were very cute. 
So I grab two packs of those and I can stash those away for when I get some more little girl orders. Actually, it seems like I just keep getting girl orders back to back to back. I haven't really done many orders for little boys. Um, actually, it's been a few months, but pretty much everything's been for little girls. So I just try to rack up as much as possible. And when I do see cute stuff for little boys, I try to grab that as well because it's very few and far between. So I got two packs of those. It comes with the yellow headband, pink and purple. So got that. Um, so as far as a snack, I grab these Reese's sticks. I love Kit Kats. Kit Kats are my favorite candy. Anything with a wafer um, or wafer crisp Wafers or crisp, I think that's like two different things. I pretty much, well, I feel like they're the same thing, but people say it's different, but it, to me it has the same texture. So anything like that, and the crisp, what you would describe a candy that has a crisp in it is, um, oh my goodness, Nestle Crunch, there we go. Nestle Crunch has the crisp in it, like the little, you know, like little pebbles. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm sorry. And then the one candy in the ball, Ferrero Rocher or Rocher Ferrero, something like that. But I like candies like that. So I tried this. It's like the best of both worlds. It's Reese's Sticks. So it tastes like a Reese's, but it has the texture of a Kit Kat. Love it. So I became addicted. Grab this um, out of Dollar Tree. Comes with four sticks for a dollar. And also another favorite of mine is the Reese, or not Reese, sorry, the Ritz Bits, but with cheese. You know, they have peanut butter. I'm not a fan of like peanut butter like that, unless it is in Reese's cups or Reese's sticks. But with the crackers, oh, excuse me. Sorry, you guys, it's, it's kind of late. So had a long day at work, but um, grab this. These are like one of my favorites and they had it in the big bag. They also had the peanut butter at Dollar Tree as well. So this big size bag. Normally this would be about two dollars and some change. It was actually a dollar. So grab that. And now as far as cosmetics, um, if you, you guys saw my picture on Instagram, I put that Walgreens had the wet and wild um, nail polish for 99 cents, but then it was buy one, get one half off. So I ended up getting four nail polishes and um, I got like this very pretty shade of blue, yellow, like a orange, it's a, not a burnt orange, but it's very deep orange, something that's good for fall and pink. So I grabbed those. Again, you guys can check out my, um, my Instagram, which is USFChick85. So of course you guys know that I'm addicted to nail polish. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so here's a couple of colors that I grabbed out of Dollar Tree. And I hope I don't have dupes of these already. But first one is this Milani glitter. Um, don't know if you guys be able to really see it, but it has purple and blue glitter in it. And this is called Twinkle number 550 very pretty color love it I'm not a fan of glitter like that um, I have glitter but not a lot there's a close-up of it so have that then I have this Milani this is like a um it's like a reddish pinkish color it's more red than anything. And it's called Flamingo Race. And it's number 25. Oh no, I'm sorry, not Flamingo, my bad. I'm trying to look at it through the camera. It's Flaming Race. My bad, my bad. And it's a high speed, fast, dry, one coat formula. But I guess, again, it just depends. You know, I'll test it out. 
I, as you can see, I have gel on my nails. So it's my second time getting gel. I got gel on my nails for the for my friend's wedding in white, but then the tips started turning brown, which I didn't like. So I went ahead and got this and my tips done in red. So as soon as I get the gel off my nails, it's my real nails, then I'll go back to polishing my nails again. And I'll test this out and tell you guys how I like it. Of course, you can follow the different um, nail polish colors of the week on my Instagram page. I did take a couple of months off because I wanted to let my nails breathe with no polish. So, and I also got this other, it's a Wet n Wild, Wild Shine. And this is called Lavender Cream, but it's nowhere near, near lavender. It's like pink. It's definitely a pink. And it's number C45 for Diaz and David. So. I like that shade of pink. I'm not even a fan of pink. The other polish that I grabbed was another um, Wet n Wild. It's called Hallucinate. Number C for Charles, 469. And it's a, sorry, I'm shaking it clear glitter very pretty very sparkly I really like it okay the next one next nail polish I grabbed I know I have at least one more in here I've been eyeing this for a while um, I guess maybe it's not a very popular color because it's like this shade has been at my Dollar Tree for a few months now and it's quite a few of them left. But it's called Caribbean Force and it's number C as in Charles 446C. Very nice shade of green. Very pretty. This is also by Wet n Wild. Wild Shine. And my flash just went off by itself. So, so I have three Wet and Wild Wild Shines, and I have two Milani's. Yeah, and that's pretty much all the nail polish that I purchased today. Then, of course, they always have the Elf um, Shadow brushes and foundation brushes but I could have sworn I've already bought the uh, foundation blushes so I didn't want to buy anymore I'm sorry I lied I do have one more wet and wild and it's this called sparked and it's number C for Charles 435 G as in girl and this is glitter as well but it has um, it's pink like a shade of pink it was very pretty. So, four Wet n Wilds, two Milani's. By the way, I was saying though, um, as far as the brushes, I didn't want to buy duplicates. I know that you can never have too many brushes, but I don't want, you know, multiples of the same type of brush. So if I get multiple brushes, like multiple foundation brushes, I want them to be different brands. You know where you can actually feel the difference so I didn't want the same exact duplicate so I didn't grab any of those but I did notice that they had two shades it's the only two colors they had left and they barely had these of the Maybelline color tattoos um, the pure pigment up to 24 hours This color is number 60, buff and tough. There we go, buff and tough. And the other one that I got is called F 
45 downtown brown it's another Maybelline color tattoo they are different in color you can actually see the difference there I'm gonna do it at an angle so got those two and I'm sure you guys ever since last year I've, I've always mentioned the glitter primer by elf that's been at Dollar Tree so I went ahead and just grabbed one I normally don't um, use glitter eyeshadow like that but I did buy a couple little um, glitter shadows so around the holidays like Christmas and New Year's if I have it on then I'll at least put this down and this is at Dollar Tree's for a dollar glitter primer and then last but not least I grabbed not really a fan of um, powders but I did grab this because it wasn't that many left and I grabbed two the same color this is called 1306 light beige and eliminates shine treats and prevents breakouts clarifying pressed powder like I said I grabbed two of the same ones so I'm gonna test this out on my arm if it matches or maybe I should just try it on my face if it matches perfectly then I'll go ahead and probably grab a few more because I know that you know like I said there's only a few of them left and I don't want to have to shop around the all whole like a whole bunch of the Dollar Trees in order to find more so yeah, I had to grab two of those so that pretty much completes my little baby mini itty bitty Dollar Tree haul for today I'm gonna go ahead and put all my little goodies up and I will catch you guys on the flip side Hope you guys had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Hope everyone was safe. And hopefully I'll catch you guys sometime this weekend. Bye.